Hey guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this video, but I just left a customer's house where she had a P-Tac that is like five feet off the ground. I mean, you can't see the top of it. And um, the lady was, <laughs> she just got out the shower, but she helped me get it out the wall. And so I could bring it here. It sounded like it was just running, but it was not producing cold air. I have a hook up back there in the back of the shop where I can plug this thing in and I'm going to have to put something on it so I can read pressures. As y'all can see, there's no place to really hook up on this. We shall see. All right, I got my 30 amp turned on. That's this right here. That is a 30 amp disconnect. And this is like a 20 amp plug. Like a little adapter I made. As y'all can see where I was taking it out right here, if y'all can see that, it's a little bit scratched up. Gotta be careful putting that back in. All right, hopefully that compressor will come on. Because when I heard it come on earlier, it just was not cooling. I'm gonna wait a little while see how it goes. All right, I hear that fan, the condenser fan motor come on. The compressor's not running. All right, so I never heard compressor come on. Let me get my tools and we're gonna start taking this All right, apart. Let's um. Let's get into this. Right now, I'm not suspecting something with this. I want to check. Uh, one sec. I want to check the um, capacitor first. It's going to have one right back there. There we go. That's what I want to check. All right. Let me see what kind of. Screw do I need to get a nut driver? Apparently I need a quarter inch. Alright, that's supposed to be a 30 and 5. I'm most interested in this 30 right here. my lights going out I'm just gonna have to tell you what it says on let's see all those are covered up I'm reading I'm sorry, I thought I was reading something 53 nanofarads, that ain't right. Oops, I think I just unplugged something. Yep, I'm reading nanofarads. I need a 30 and 5. As y'all can see here, I have a 30 and 5 and that 
loose wire right there. That's my herm. All of this brown one is for fan. All these others here, as you can see, this right here goes to a common power source. That yellow goes to Herm. I was putting my white and reds, which are my C, on my Herm. So I had to switch that up. yellow wire all right make sure everything's hooked up right hmm this is probably my run on my Compressor start and my um, common probably comes from right here. If it's not right there, it's mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but this brings on my compressor. screw don't want to go back in there. See if I can get a better angle with this. Come on, it's right there. There we go. Put this back over here. All right, let's see if we can plug it up and it, if it'll run. All right, it popped the breaker. Let me make sure I haven't done something wrong. I do have it unplugged. 
You'll see what it did to my plug. I'm not seeing where I've made any mistakes. So why would it do that? You know, when I first pulled it off the wall, this was tripped. I'm not seeing anything that's grounded or miswired. Is my compressor dying? Did that capacitor kill my compressor? Mm -hmm. One of those wires comes right back up here to line voltage. That's my other line right here. Actually, that's the... That may be the problem. Alright. Yeah, I think that was the problem. <laughs> Uh, I, that came off and I hooked it up to the wrong one. Hmm, let's put it back together. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, it's not wanting to enter now. I think I've ruined my... Will it work well enough just for me to test this? There it goes. Mm. All right, I'm gonna see if this will get up and running. If it will, if it will, I'm gonna take it outside and wash it off with the water. Okay, I heard the compressor start up. And I'm getting hot gas right here. So, oh, and I can feel it. Yes, it's blowing cold air. So let's take it outside and wash it off. Come on. That don't look like it can take threads anymore. Like threads are heat up with calcium. Lovely, it's like the only place I've got. Come on, calcium and lime deposits. Is it enough to wash it off a little bit? There we go.
<clears throat> that blower wheel don't look a lot better. ladies one of her sons I can get this thing lifted up in there I don't want her to have to lift on it like she did earlier today danger of hurting myself at least I don't think all right if it holds true to what it did in the shop the blower is going to come on and then the heat pump. Mm -hmm. Still okay. No, not yet. All right. Compressor just came on. That air is very quickly changing temperature. We're good to go. Hey guys. I hope you enjoyed that little video. That family was super nice to me. They have children that were about adult size, but not yet adults. And, um, but they helped me roll that um, hand truck with the P tag on it up the stairs. I found out the hard way. I couldn't hardly get it up the stairs. Those big wheels on that thing go. Um, they're advantageous for other things, but going upstairs, they are not. It's like they fit right into the bottom of that step and I couldn't pull it over. So I'm thinking I need a new kind of hand truck just for stairs. Those with the, the rolling backs on them, that would have been so sweet. I still would have needed help picking it up and putting it in the hole, but um, I could have gotten it up the stairs without having to say hey I can't get it because I didn't realize I couldn't until it just happened by the way I hope you enjoy drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one